Hey guys, Zibzo here, and welcome back to another video. And this video is going to be the Minecraft Pocket Edition Alpha Build 7. So if you don't know what an Alpha Build is, it's basically the developing versions of the real Pocket Edition of how the 0 0.12.0 update is going to be. So, let's get started. <laughs> okay, um, so first of all, uh, zombies are supposed to... Um, zombies are put on... When they're put on Soul Sand, they... Um, don't burn except with the bigger zombies it's a glitch that they're getting burned or never mind it's it's all it's also it's just a glitch with all zombies it's just that little zombies never get burned and also they added in zombie villages and they also added chain armor into the game and also the zombies can wear and pick up anything so they could pick up arrows they could pick up swords they could pick up a lot of stuff and you can see this is really rare it's a zombie in full chain armor and enchanted chain armor so and look at that. We're getting so many. That's tw two in a row. See, he has a shovel. He has enchanted um, armor, chest plate. Let's see if we can get something else. Uh-oh, I think we have too many. <laughs> I'll just let that jumble in there. And let's move on to the second thing. Second thing is they added in iron golems and um, snow golems. It's getting a bit irritated by those ocelots because they also added ocelots in the game. So hey guys, if you see right now, and I think you can hear in the recorder too, um, it is raining, and the raining just so you know is very loud, and if you saw off in the distance there was some lightning going off, a little more lightning, but if it's not, then I'll just sign off. Well not sign off, but move on to the next part of the video. But, I saw some lightning over there, I don't know if you guys saw that too, but can just skip back to see it does the flashing oh I think there was lightning down in that area because it was flashing but I haven't seen rain in a long time so I just wanted to show you guys right now so yeah so I couldn't catch any lightning tell you my tell you tell me if you guys found lightning in the comments section down below but yeah yeah Okay, hey guys, Ibzo back. Sorry, just my game crashed for some reason. I probably had too many zombies. <laughs> okay, so, um, I was saying about how ocelots, snow golems, and iron golems are added. So, if you put the shape of a, you make a T with iron, and you put a pumpkin on top, you get an iron golem. If you have two snow blocks, and then you stick a pumpkin on top, you get a snow golem. So, also, another thing added is ocelots, and you can also tame them. I see you see that yellow one over there. There is that brown and black one over there. I was thinking of doing that on video. I can stand them and sit them too. And there is also, right here you can see the snow golems shoot snowballs at the zombies. So if they see zombies. And also, it's shooting at the iron golem. It's kind of a, I don't think it's a glitch. And, okay, now this is going crazy. Wait, what? Wait, what? You just killed the snow golem! Okay, so, they might have to fix these bugs out, because you just killed the snow golem for no reason. Okay, so, yeah. And also, if you see right here, they added a bunch of new fences, so they added all the different types of fences. Um, I don't know if that was in this update, but I just told you it. So, you guys know now. So, let's go over here to this sec- Oh, actually, let's fly all the way back here to this section. And actually, before we do that, I, I forgot a lot of stuff. So right now, I'm going to be putting a picture on the screen and saying that there is hunger added into the game and also experience. So I'll put a picture right on the screen right now. And yeah. So before we start with the boats, I just want to go in the settings section and show the new things. So they obviously had sound volume. I don't know if they added that, but there's also different difficulty levels. So you can have peaceful, easy, um, medium, and then hard. And also, there is, they added third person view. So you know how there, you could change the third person view, but you can only see the back of yourself. So now in Pocket Edition, they also added the third, the other way, where you can see the front face of yourself. And yeah, if you look under, yeah. And then you can see yourself from the front. So you can actually see our skin looks. Local server multiplayer was already on. Um, let me turn the view back to normal. So, um, skins were already added in the previous updates. 
So let's see, they also added, um, if you don't didn't notice already, they added sneaking. And when you sneak, I'll just show you the front view of it. You sneak, you look like you're crouched down. And um, I don't know, and also using sneak mode, did, well, that's an ocelot just went away. But um, sneak mode, you can also like place things on like crafting tables and stuff. And so they also added controller support and you can pick what keyboard layout you want and then they have controller layout I'm not using a controller right now um, there's also they have an option if you want auto jump so this is really helpful because a lot of times I just randomly jumps and it like makes me jump off a cliff because it just jumps sometimes but you can pick if you want auto jump I usually leave it off I don't know why it was on there so there's brightness, there's also render distance. So render distance is basically um, how far you can see. They added a few more notches, I think, for that. Sorry if it's like really laggy, this is just the build version. So um, for the next part, oh gosh, are you serious? Okay, let's see. So one more thing about the settings is they added the field of view. So the field of view is basically the square of the screen you see right now is going to, you can make it zoom out. So this is very helpful in like Hunger Games and stuff or if you want to zoom in to show something if you're doing like a Minecraft Let's Play. So yeah, that's all the stuff. Ooh, whoops, that looks like... And it also looks like you're kind of um, on the sprint mode. I'm sorry if I'm leaving some things out. I, I don't want to make this video like extremely long. And also, another thing they added, I keep forgetting a bunch of stuff, there's sprinting added in the game, so, wait, not yet, now it's sprinting, and you can sprint, so yeah, pretty much you know what sprinting is. So they added all the different types of boats, Asasio, Dark Oak, Jungle, Birch, er anything you can think of, basically. So let's fly back over here and start talking about enchanting. So you can now in the game enchant things. So like I can stick the sword in and I can pick and you also need to use um, uh, Lapis Lazuli to pick which which one you got. But I'm in creative mode so you don't have to pick it. So like if you want the first one you need one, the second one you need two, third one you need three. Um, I like how they use um, made a use for Lapis, Lapis Lazuli now. So right now I can get an enchantment for fire aspect, but right now I can't pick it up because I'm in creative mode, but you can see it's a fi I can't use the fire aspect sword, but pretty sure you all know what that does. But you can see it's enchanted now, and if you put the bookshelves around it, you get all these little information and knowledge flying into the book, and you can get a 30 enchantment, which I'm going to get. And the coolest thing about Pocket Edition is you can see which enchantment it is. So if I don't like this, I can just pick like what enchantment I want. So I'd rather have a looting, so I get a looting sword. I don't want smite. So it's really cool of the feature because in Xbox Edition or PC, you, you, you had to take forever trying to find which one you want. So yeah, and let's move in the second thing, which is brewing. So brewing, it's basically, you can make potions right now. I'm going to put in, I have water bottles, I'm going to put some nether wart to make some awkward potions. Then you guys know how to make potions off of that. So another thing is anvils. Um, in anvils, you basically can, um, they added all different types. This In creative mode, the slightly damaged, and the damage, and the normal anvil. And in anvil, you can repair things in. Yeah, um, right now I'm going to add a, oh, and I'm going to, right now, before I start getting out of hand and a bunch of stuff, I'm first show you the creative interface. They added golden apples, normal apples, all the different types of books. So I'm going to hold, um, they also added bottle of enchanting. They added a bunch of different potions. I'm not going to go through them. Way too many. They added chain armor. So and all the a bunch of different spawn eggs. They added all the fences, and that's pretty much it in the creative interface. They added all blaze rods, magma cream, all the new stuff you'll get in the new update. So right now I'm going to, I want to repair the sword. I can also rename it whatever I want, and I can take the enchantment, but I'm not going to do that right now because that's going to crash my game, like you saw before, it already crashed it. So yeah. Let me move on to the next thing. So let me just show you quickly. The brewing potions are done and they're awkward potions now. So yeah. Another thing they added was mob heads. So you can put you can make put these different types of mob heads. Put them in any direction you want. So it's pretty cool. So yeah. Um, I think I've 
went through all the other important things and now it's time to move on my last thing last thing that I wanted to tell you guys the nether they added the nether and the cool thing about this is I don't know if you guys can hear and I'm gonna turn the volume up a little but in the nether when you break it it makes an awesome glass sound like when you break it this is probably what a bunch of PC players if they're using pocket editions this is all they want to come for that sound and another, another cool thing is they already added um, as as so basically you can make another portal as big as you want so oh sorry guys the controller just the piece um the recorder just went out there so yeah so hey guys I'm back and sorry about that it just crashed and um, we're at 10 minutes now of time recording so I need to start speeding this up so basically you can have custom sized nether portals and they light and they also break the same way as normal nether portals so just I'm gonna break that one and now I'm gonna show you guys the nether so once you jump in I wanna show you something did you see how fast that loaded that was super fast way faster than anything else to get into the to get in the nether so basically you have all the normal stuff in the nether the nether brick there's nether quartz so I don't know what they're going to do about the um, nether, what is that called, the nether, uh, uh, yeah, they removed that. There used to be like this thing where when you made it, it would spawn this um, thingamajigger and you ran around it to get the items, but I don't remember what it's called. But nether, nether reactor core, that's what it's called, but I think they removed that now. And it's really laggy in here now. So you can see they added the nether quartz. And right now there's no spawning. This is only build 7, so they didn't add natural spawning of the gas and blazes, but I'm just going to put them down to show you. So they also have nether fortresses and they have magma cubes. They this was already added, but that one just jumped off. Sorry about that. But they also now split. So they added the magma cubes to split because in the earlier updates they didn't have them splitting. So now I'm going to spawn blazes. They're just as how you expect. You can shoot them with snowballs. And they also shoot you back. Shot me back there. So, and obviously they also added gas. Which, I don't know if they shoot stuff yet at me. Oh my gosh, but they make weird noises. They make them so loud and weird. Completely weird. And they can also spawn up in there. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. But, yeah. And then there's also soul sand places. Gosh, it's lagging so bad. But there's also soul sand. There's natural spawning zombie pigmen. But yeah, so since I'm coming to the end of this video, I just want to now just mess around a little bit and I'm going to spawn a bunch of blazes and gas in the overworld. So let's move a little bit far away. Actually, I'll just let all this blow up. Let's just add a bunch of gas. See how laggy we can make it. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. They're just going to, I'm pretty sure they're just going to fly up and up. Magma cubes, come on. Come into the overworld, you can experience how it is now. Oh gosh, it's getting a little bit too laggy. No! Okay, before this game crashes again, um, let me end this episode here. Um, let me end this video here. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and share. This is Ibzo, signing out.